I had a detailer write me the other day and said, hey, do I use Aberlon or Abernet? And my answer was both. I'm gonna explain why coming up. I don't know if you've ever found yourself like me wondering, hey, do I use Aberlons or do I use Abernets or what sandpaper do I use on a boat? My first question is, is what are you using it for? If you have a severely oxidized boat that's extremely chalky and you're wanting to plow down some oxidation and get rid of the chalk, Abernet is gonna be your first go-to. Or if you have a perfectly slick surface and you're just wanting that perfect finish, Aberlon is gonna be your go-to. Now, why did I say both? If I'm doing a boat that is severely oxidized or even remote oxidized I usually like to start off with Abernet I find Abernet cuts really deep it cuts really fast and let's face it it's about half the cost these are about three to four dollars a piece this is about 35 cents a piece you can get a much better finish with these and it's a lot cheaper and trying to run a business cheaper is better these will cut deeper so on an Aberlon if you have much experience this is gonna give you a consistent scuff where an Abernet is gonna give you more slices so you're gonna have more pigtails with the Abernet now the reason why I say both is they are both good and they both work well together, but you have to use it in a very specific way. Sometimes I'll even go down to 320. I do not recommend going down to 320 on a lot of cases or unless you have a lot of experience with sanding. I have a ton of experience with sanding, so I'll go down to 320. But a lot of the times the lowest you should probably go is about 600 grit. So I usually like to do 600 and then I jump up to 1000 grit on wet sand or dry sand, wet sand, and then what I'll do after that is then I go to Aberlons and then go back down the 500 and then go back up to 1000. I find that these cut a lot more, the Abernets will cut more, so what you want to do is when you cut more, even though you go up to 1000, you want to drop down the 500 on the Aberlon, the 500 on the Aberlon is going to take out 1000 grit on the Abernet. Where you can go wrong is if you go 600 Abernet and then you go 1000 Aberlon, it's not gonna remove the scratches. You always have to go down a step with the Aberlons. Now, I will say you can go all the way up to 1000 on the Abernet and be totally fine if you have the right compounds on white holes or any lighter color holes, but if you're doing a dark color hole like black or dark blue, always, 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 always finish with the Aberlons. Also with both of these products, I like to use a thick interface pad. Uh, you technically can use just this on the backing plate with a little bit of cushion. I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I do use a six inch interface pad. Um, I have a link down below that you can go ahead and buy it. I will also have a link for all of the grits for Abernet and also for Aberlon down below. You can buy them on Amazon. And I only, typically only run both of these whenever I sand on my Griot's Garage DA. Uh, you can use it on a Broops Bigfoot. You can use it on a Flex. A Flex, you're gonna get a lot of cutting power out of it. It works good, but you definitely get a lot of cutting power. I typically recommend, especially if you're new to sanding, just to use a little handheld DA. You could buy the Griot's Garage down below, or you can go to Harbor Freight and get a little cheap one for like 60 bucks. Either one will do the job. Um, I just personally like the Griot's Garage one. It's lasted really good for me. It does really well for me. But anyway, so I use both of these pads on a DA or your Flex with an interface pad. Make sure you have the interface pad, especially on Abernet, because as you can see, this thing is paper thin and if you put this on the backing plate you are going to cut like a mofo and you're probably going to cut too much so make sure you have an interface pad when you're using both of them but especially the Abernet. So I know that was a lot of Aberlons and a lot of Abernets but watch the video through and through there's a good little information right here if you have any questions comment down below always hit the like button that always helps me out a lot and subscribe I'm going to release a weekly if not multiple videos a week I'm trying my hardest I can only work so much because my wife won't let me work so much but I'm trying to uh, release videos because I'm just tired of all the bad information on YouTube and on the internet when it comes to boat detailing subscribe and I really look forward to serving you next time